Hey, it's Greg Avedon. So it's Friday, great day. Had a long day, uh, trained a lot of clients. And here's one of the things with being a personal trainer because I love what I do, of course. I love helping people make sure that their form is correct, that they're getting results, that they're answering their questions, you're helping them through issues because everybody has a story. And I love doing that. But then it comes time for me and sometimes, you know, you just, you don't have it anymore. You don't have energy because you've been pouring your energy out into so many people. But I really wanted to work out, so I had to find a way. And I'm sure each one of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not the fact that you're training people, but that you just don't feel like going to the gym. You think, oh, I'm not gonna be in the mood to train. So the first thing that I do, and I recommend that you do if you're feeling this way, I mean, yes, you can take a pre-workout, but what if you wanna be a little bit more healthy? You don't wanna take in caffeine. You just wanna go in the gym naturally and get a good workout. Just find that energy, find it somehow, some way. I mean, hell, it's Friday, right? So the first thing I recommend is get on cardio. Do like 20 minutes of cardio. That always gets the blood moving, gets a little sweat going, and that'll drive you into the gym. But here's the deal though, because you really weren't into training to begin with. So now you're trying to get that motivation to train. You have to be careful. You don't want to injure yourself because not one rep is worth being out of the gym for three weeks. You know what I'm saying? So the key is to go into the gym with a plan. And one thing that I like to do, especially if I'm feeling tired or a little fatigued, and, and I do the same thing with my clients, is I do what's called pre-exhaustion sets. So let's use a bench, for example. You go into the gym and you think, well, normally I can go up to 120 pound dumbbell bench press. Today, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna risk injury. But I wanna pre-exhaust that bench press so that when I get over there, 60 pound dumbbells feel really heavy. So I might do 12 push-ups, followed by cable press, followed by a cable fly, then jump into the bench press. And by that time, I'm barely getting the 60 pound dumbbells, especially if I keep a slower tempo, like a 301 tempo, like a one, two, three on the way down, 01. That will definitely kick up the intensity of the workout and keep you safe. If you do that with all the movements that you're gonna be doing that day, even though you're tired, I guarantee you're gonna walk out of the gym feeling like a million bucks, or at least feeling like, you know what? I got the work done today. And that's exactly what we're going for, right? So there you have it. I hope you enjoy your Friday. If it's Friday and you're watching this video, hey, you never know. Until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Oh, and by the way, if you get a chance, subscribe to my channel. Till then, stay inspired.